Hey everyone, I'm just going to quickly show you how to use your iPhone to make Instagram Reels. Reels are Instagram's way of doing what the massively popular video sharing platform TikTok does. Namely, it allows you to share short videos which are displayed vertically. At the moment, the maximum length of an Instagram Reel video is 60 seconds. Just like TikTok videos, the best Instagram Reels are engaging and bingeable. In other words, people watch one and then they want to watch another one immediately after. Now there's three ways to access the Reels area on Instagram. The first one is to tap the Reels button at the bottom and then a random Instagram Reel is going to start playing. If you want to record a Reel from here, tap the camera button to the right to access the recording screen. The second way is to swipe right on the screen to go directly to the record screen. And the third way is to tap the button at the top with the plus sign and choose Reels in the bottom menu. On the left, we have various options. The second button down selects the duration of the video. If you select 60 seconds, the video will come out at 60 seconds or less, depending on how long you record for. So in a way, there's no real need to choose a shorter length because you can just record the video for however long you want. So when you want to record video, you just press and hold the record button. At the top, you're going to see the time remaining of your 60 seconds ticking down and also a bar moving across to show you how much video you have recorded. Now, once you let go, the recording stops or rather it kind of pauses because if you now press and hold again, this new shot will be added to the previous shot. Again, the counter ticks down some more and the bar moves along a bit more. So again, release the record button to pause again. So you might notice that once you've recorded a clip that you get this extra box now, the align tool, and that just helps you to make sure that your face, for example, is in the same position as it was in the clip before. And that allows you to do this. The button on the right allows you to preview what you've recorded so far. Meanwhile, the button on the left allows you to edit the clips and you're going to find a little thumbnail here for each clip that you have recorded so far. So if you want to get rid of one, just select it and then tap the trash button. Or if you want to edit it, just click the scissors button. Now this music notes button allows you to add music from a selection of popular tracks. And you can also search for a track at the top. And now this button allows you to change the speed of the video you are recording. So you can actually record slow motion or speed it up video, kind of like time lapse. So if you choose a different speed here, your video will come out either slower or faster. The 0.3 times and the 0.5 times, they're going to produce slow motion, while the 1 times is the normal speed and all the others come out speeded up. So that's 2 times, 3 times or even 4 times faster. So the final button here allows you to set a timer before your iPhone starts recording. So if you're filming yourself doing something where you need to be away from the camera, like dancing or something, the timer gives you some seconds to get into position. Now you can actually use a pre-recorded video here. Just tap the square button with a little blue and white plus in the corner and this allows you to bring in any video from your iPhone photos gallery. Now tap the effects button or swipe along the bottom and that allows you to add various different effects. At the top you'll see this flash icon so you can switch between off, on or auto. Now if this is switched on when you use the rear camera and you hold down record the flash will turn on and give you extra lighting while you're recording. On the other hand, when you use the front or selfie camera, of course, there is actually no front facing flash. So what it does is kind of add a flash effect. Uh, so it just kind of brightens up the image. Once you're happy with your reel, tap preview. You can now add all the usual Instagram stuff like text, stickers and more effects and so on. As well, you can download the finished video onto your iPhone. So this is going to be useful if you want to use the same video for TikTok, YouTube Shorts or some other vertical video platform. And finally, click next at the bottom. And the first time you do this, Instagram is going to ask you if you want to allow Facebook to show the reel to people outside of your friends and followers. If you're looking to grow your audience, then it does make sense to allow that. If you leave the share to feed enabled here, the reel is going to be shared to your regular Instagram feed. If you do this, just bear in mind that the video is going to be cropped a little bit differently. So be careful not to crop anything important like text, for example. 
Now, if you want to change or add your own image as a cover or a thumbnail for the reel, you can do that by tapping cover. Swipe along to choose a frame from the reel or tap the plus button to add an image from your iPhone photo gallery. Now, third party editing apps like CapCut or VlogNow or LumaFusion allow you much greater precision when cutting your reel together. So a lot of people use those to edit and then import them into Instagram using the add video button that I showed you earlier. And now it's really time for me to go.